all right welcome back to another video uh, today I wanted to show people how they could use uh, certain Firefox extensions to download pretty much uh, any video that you find online that you want to save to your computer you want to save a local copy for you know your own personal enjoyment and all that uh, you can do that with uh, just a couple of different methods um, so the first one we're going to do is looking at a Firefox extension called Video Download Helper. Um, it's a really popular one that that's all you'll need for about 90%, 95%, 98%. <laughs> uh, in other words, most websites are going to work with the extension and that's all you'll need. So, um, so if you're not too familiar with Firefox, it's a web browser just like Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Um, and you can download it for free if you don't have it on your computer just go to your favorite search engine just type get Firefox and uh, it will give you the download link for that um, and once you've got it all installed and everything you can go up here to this menu button it says open the application menu I think they call it a hamburger menu button or something I don't know anyway uh, you click there and you go to where it says add-ons and themes right here and that will open up this page um, right now it's showed on themes but the uh, video download helper is actually an extension so to get that you would just type up at the top here where it says find more add-ons just type video and then download download helper is all one word they've put two words and squished them together for some reason uh, so you just go ahead and type that in on the top there and just go ahead and hit enter and that opens a new tab and you can say you can see right here video download helper um, it says easiest way to download and convert web videos from hundreds of YouTube like sites so uh, pretty much anywhere where you find um, you know videos that you can watch online uh, chances are good this can help you save a local copy of it so go ahead and click on it and you can see all the information about it um, and then you see this here where it says recommended if you hover your mouse over that uh, it says Firefox only recommends add-ons that meet our standards for security and performance so whenever you see that on the uh, you know Firefox add-ons extensions and themes and stuff like that you know that somebody on the team that create you know creates and maintains Firefox has checked that uh, extension to make sure it's secure to make sure it's not doing anything funky or you know anything like that so um, so anytime you see where it says recommended that's how you know 100% for sure that it's really good and there's not going to be any you know uh, significant issues with using it or cons privacy concerns or anything like that um, then they don't review every single add-on but uh, but they do review a lot of them and, and they'll give this recommended stamp to the ones that you know pass their criteria or whatever so um, so just, just as a little note there so I've already got it installed that's why it's saying remove down here but if you don't it will say you know to add it to Firefox and it will probably give you a prompt that's asking you like uh, you know about data use and things like that um, let me see if there's anything down here yeah the permissions so um, this will it'll give you a prompt and say you know uh, this add-on is asking for your permission to do all these things and these are just what it needs to perform its functionality um, really so so um, it, it's up to you to decide like if, if, if something here makes you feel a little bit uneasy then you might not want to do this method but um, but considering they've been you know reviewed it and they recommend it I personally I don't see any concerns of privacy or anything so I think it should be you know up to you of course but um, but it's you know it, it's listed all out here for you to see what exactly is being done with every add-on that you go to uh, install in Firefox so. so when you've got that all all installed onto your machine um, uh, from there you want to actually go to um, you can see over here I've got a video up from uh, the Pixabay website uh, now in this particular case this is a website that lets you download videos anyway <laughs> it has the functionality built into that uh, because it, the whole point of it is to freely share stuff but assuming you know you run a website that does not do that because most of them will not do that um, by default they're not as open as, as Pixabay here so so you'll see uh, when you add video download helper to Firefox it will give this little uh, icon up here for video download helper. If for some reason it doesn't, 
uh, add that icon up there. You can always right click somewhere in the page and you can see down at the bottom here, video download helper is also listed there and it shows a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, but I find it a little bit easier personally to just work off of the icon up here in the toolbar. Um, but if you click on that, you can see here, it has a whole bunch of different options that it found. And these are all just um, different uh, resolutions and um, you know different things that the download helper was able to detect on this particular page. Um, so you can see here it says that you know it detected a JPEG file, so it actually got the image of like a, the thumbnail of this video, which it's not really what you want in this case, but uh, but it can even do you know image file downloads and things like that too. Uh, so you can see here there's a whole bunch of different versions, and it can get kind of overwhelming and confusing. Like which one do I do? What do I? What's the difference? But um, but generally what I tend to look for is the higher the resolution here, the video resolution, so 3840 by 2160 seems to be the highest one for this particular uh, video. Um, you can add all those in there um, and, you know, and it goes down to different versions and this one's like the dash streaming version versus you know there might not be one that's like that, it might be something else. Anyway, it, the point is don't get too caught up in most of that stuff because it won't really matter ultimately. Uh, the main thing that you're looking for is a good size video, like good resolution. Um, you can even go like the highest number, like the highest set of these for the resolution. That's going to be a better quality video, a higher resolution video. So if you have a bigger TV or with, you know, 4K or 8K resolution or whatever it is, uh, this will look good even on that because it's, you know, higher resolution than normal. But typically, uh, more common, you're not going to see this type of resolution on every single video site that you go to. Uh, these are going to be more common down here, like the 1280 by 720, that's 720p. The 1920 by 1080, that's 1080p. You see those formats quite a bit. Um, those are going to be more common on most sites that, uh, you know, I think not all of them are going to have these. But anyway, so what you would do, Say you want this 1080p version here, right? Uh, so you say, yeah, that's good enough for me. So with Download Helper, Video Download Helper, you just click this arrow next to the one that you want to download, basically. It says download without asking for destination. So what that'll do is it'll just download to your default uh, set download location. Um, and you can change that in the preferences of the extension. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and click that button just to show you what it does. And you'll see that window goes away and it's got this little blue icon here. You can see there's this blue icon that appeared with a one. Now, if you click down here, it says one running. So if you click on that blue, you can see that this is the current one that's downloading. Here's the resolution of it, the file size, all that stuff. It's progress. Um, it's showing you there's six other things detected in the current tab, uh, but we won't worry about that too much. Um, and when that is done, loading here in just a second this one will go away and you'll get a notification that says you know it's finished downloading whatever whatever you were working on downloading so and then we can see here that once the download has completed um, in the DW helper folder we've got this video here that we just saved from that website using the extension um, so that's going to pretty much be the gist of using download helper and a very uh, you know s simple way straightforward way uh, there's one other step that you may uh, desire to do at some point um, especially if you find that you're having a little bit of trouble getting it to work um, and that's to download the companion app that goes with it and so we can see here um, I have the video download helper companion app github page um, and this is for open source software um, to you know it's a hosting site for mostly for open source software uh, so you can go ahead and grab this there's going to be links down in the description for you for easy access um, but you'll notice too if you go in the preferences for video download helper it will say you know it will talk about the companion application um, and that just helps it at work a little bit better than it normally would um, allows it to perform some functionality you can see down here at the bottom it says it allows file writing API features that are not available from the browser. It allows for temporary file name generation. It allows launching default application on a data file. And it says it also includes a build of the FFmpeg video converter. Uh, so FFmpeg is a pretty popular uh, video conversion tool. Um, so basically, to put this very simply, the, the companion app helps video download helper 
uh, you know, work even better than it normally would. So, um, so you may wish to in download and install that. And if you'd like to do that, you can just get that over here from the releases. Um, since I am on Linux, it's mostly going to prioritize the Linux builds. Uh, if you are running Linux Mint, you will probably be just fine with this version right here. The AMD64.deb, which is short for Debian. It's basically, uh, if you're on a Debian-based Linux distribution, it's pretty much the equivalent of having a .exe file on Windows that you can just run and it will install very easily. Uh, with a graphical interface and everything and then that will be that um, and uh, but for Windows users you'll want to get this version right here the co-app setup uh, .exe file so um, and then you just run that and run through the process to get the companion application installed and you should be good to go from there um, so that about covers the initial look at the video download helper. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go over what to do when this method that we shown here does not work. <laughs> how do you? How? What other ways do you have to still, uh, you know, save a video that you find online when video download helper doesn't seem to be doing it? So, uh, stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching.